Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to share your Microsoft Teams files. Um, this is a pretty quick tutorial so if you do find it useful you know what to do and with that said let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is actually just head over to my general supply chain channel and what I'm going to do is start a new meeting. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the camera and the microphone and just click join now. Um, and you may notice that um, my window here is actually floating independently of um, the actual Microsoft Teams application and that's because I'm using the new uh, meeting experience by Microsoft Teams. Um, I've done a video on this if you want to actually trial what this looks like um, and you have access to it I'll leave a, a card just here so that you can see what that video um, and goes through all the functionality um, on the new meeting experience. Experience. Um, but, but what we wanted to do in this video is actually just show you guys how you can share uh, your Microsoft Teams files in a Teams meeting. Now, when you say that out loud, it sounds absolutely ridiculous because it's something that you would think would be very easy to do. Um, however, when you go through all of these functions here and you're thinking, how can I present a file that's currently saved within, let's say, my general channels files it starts to scratch your head and you realize it's not necessarily there in easy to access so what we're going to do um, is basically look at a couple of things so one you have obviously conversations and you can attach a file here but that's not going to present that file that's just going to share that file to everyone else in the meeting okay um, you can use this obviously and it only gives you the ability to upload it from your computer it doesn't give you the ability to basically take that um, file from your uh, particular channel and share it so that's not very useful um, you might look here down here and you think like, how to do this um, the one the option that you actually want to do is click on the share so you obviously want to go into this particular screen here um, and you can see the things that you're able to share right so we have obviously my two screens um, we have all the windows that are open here um, we also have PowerPoint presentations that have opened recently, the browse and the whiteboard. Now, this is the example that I'm going to share, but this um, is only showing me this particular file because it's recently been opened on my C drive. Um, if you didn't have that and you were trying to find this particular example uh, or a file that you want to present, a PowerPoint file that you want to, to present, then you're going to go to this browse function just here and you're going to click browse and you're going to see two things. You'll see upload from my computer and um, OneDrive. Now, neither of those on paper lets you uh, find a file within a channel on your team and present that. I instead, you have to have, unfortunately have a workaround. So um, this video just here um, basically shows you how to synchronize your files um, to your file explorer on Windows locally. Um, and what that's basically doing is it synchronizes all the files of your Microsoft Teams um, channels. You can, you can have just one channel or you can have multiple channels. Um, I personally like to synchronize entire teams, right? So I synchronize all of my share uh, supply chain team to my computer. And then I can use the upload from my computer function. So what that looks like um, is I have a, a function here, uh, basically, of my organization and all all of the teams that I have within my organization and then as you can see I'm in the supply chain general channel uh, that's where my meeting is currently taking place so I'm going to click on the supply chain team here and you can see I have a general folder and a meetings folder now those folders mirror exactly my team okay so I have a general channel and a meetings channel the private group is private so you wouldn't see a file for that okay so now if I go back into my my meeting you can see I have a general and a, me a, and a meetings um, folder each of those folders represents a channel within um, Microsoft Teams so I'm going to click on general and there you can see I have this YouTube examples um, PDF okay so if I go to my supply chain general channel and I go to the files you'll see the YouTube examples now 
you'd think it would be as easy as just navigating to that particular um, channel and going to the files and then presenting. Unfortunately, you have to have that workaround where you first of all have to synchronize the files to your C drive and then upload those files into the meeting. So I'm just going to click on the examples here, which is still that general channel, but it's just my local version of it. Okay. I'm going to click um, that and I'm going to basically just replace the existing one that was uploaded um, previously. Okay, so now we're just going to wait for this to upload into the meeting and what that's going to then do is basically allow us to um, present this file in that meeting um, like you would any other PowerPoint presentation. Okay, um, it's actually a really simple process. It just requires you to go through a couple of those steps okay now we also have the video video backgrounds then um, this particular video uh, PowerPoint presentation was I was basically going through how you'd actually have background videos playing in your presentations okay um, and yeah so it's um, it's pretty easy to kind of go through um, being able to present these files. You just first of all have to synchronize um, them all into uh, your C drive first. Okay, so that's how you go about basically presenting these uh, SharePoint uh, or Microsoft Teams files in a Microsoft Teams meeting. Um, I'll just leave that meeting there and just go back to my post section now. What you might think is actually it should be as easy as this, right? Where you have a the ability to browse the teams and the channels um, directly. Like so, in this um, example here, right? I'm just in the post sections of um, my general channel. If I go to share a file there, I can share a file from um, Microsoft Teams from OneDrive or from my computer. And you'd expect that same functionality to be available in your video meetings. And maybe one day it will be, um, but for now it's not. Um, so the best thing to do is basically synchronize your SharePoint uh, and Microsoft Teams files um, into your computer, and then you'll be able to present them um, like you would any other file from your computer. Um, hopefully you guys found this useful. I know it's not necessarily uh, as straightforward and easy uh, method to being able to present these files in Microsoft Teams but um, hopefully some of you guys will find this useful and if you do you know what to do and I'll catch you in the next video.